strong evidence for the brain-gut axis. The brain can communicate with the intestinal flora. We can talk to ourselves, but have you ever heard that the brain can communicate with the intestinal flora? On April 15, the research team of the Institut Pasteur in France published a thesis on science disclosing the physiological process. What is it all about? What is the brain-gut axis? If you are interested, please follow me. How does the brain communicate with the intestinal flora? The research results of the team indicate that the hypothalamic neurons can directly sense the variation in the activities of the intestinal flora and correspondingly adjust the appetite and body temperature. The major substance that establishes communication between the brain neuron activities and the intestinal flora functions is NOD2 receptors. Popularly speaking, intestinal bacteria can influence people's appetite through NOD2 receptors. The brain can influence the food intake by understanding the activities of the intestinal bacteria. The research again proves the importance of the brain-gut axis. So, what is the brain-gut axis? Many researchers have revealed that there are quite close interactions between human and intestinal flora. Intestinal flora can not only control our dietary appetite, but also influence our health and even our mental health. In turn, the brain can also send signals to the intestinal bacteria through the nervous system, so as to leverage on the change of the intestinal flora's composition. The two-way neurohumor communication system between the brain and the intestine is called the brain-gut axis. Now, it seems clear to us that since the intestinal flora does influence the health of the host, will our health be benefited if we selectively eat certain beneficial foods? Based on previous studies, it is indeed feasible. Prebiotics, such as resistant starch and inulin, can influence the composition of the intestinal bacteria, selectively promote the reproduction of beneficial bacteria in the intestine, and safeguard the intestinal health. Do you have any questions about today's video? Please write your comments, if any.